Um, some other important concepts is listening to what your viewers have to say. Uh, so when we are on YouTube, we're constantly interacting with folks. The same goes across all of our social media platforms. But YouTube and Nextdoor are the two where we get the most interaction. And we really focus on writing people back in a timely manner, answering their questions as best that we can, and taking their suggestions to heart. That's really important. You can't just be a fire department that posts something and, and you leave it, and then you're leaving people hanging out to dry. They're, they're hungry for more information, and we should be there to provide it. Another big piece of this is changing it up when needed, which means you're listening to, to viewer feedback, and if a change needs to occur, don't be afraid to make the change to be better at what you're doing. Um, and make people feel like they want to see more, not like they've already seen enough. So when we do vlogs, when we do unscripteds, we try and make them the right length of time that when the video ends, we're hoping people want to press the replay button or add it to a favorite list, but not pause it or move on to something halfway through the video because they're tired of what they've seen. Um, keep a close eye on your video's analytics too. So YouTube specifically, you can see a lot of information, how long people are watching, how many people have watched in general, and, and keep a close eye on that. So there are other fire departments or law enforcement agencies out there that you can find on YouTube that post the same content over and over again, the same kind of videos. They get very little interaction and they see very little growth on their YouTube platform. If you have a successful social media strategy, you should be seeing those numbers going up over and over again on a regular basis. And if you start to plateau or get stagnant, it probably means you need to change things up a little bit. So important to watch the analytics, important to be authentic, and then listen to what your viewers have to say and interact with them. Um, and when it comes to capturing video, really the best camera is the one that you have with you when you need it. That's what I always tell people. Um, there's different adapters and things that you can get that can help you improve your video quality. So on the far left, that's a gimbal. Uh, so you can look up electronic gimbals where you can slip your cell phone into that, and it's just going to provide a nice cinematic look. It kind of smooths out your video footage, especially if there's action. If you're walking or running, it, it kind of stops the video from bouncing around. Uh, the best investment that we've made video-wise is getting GoPro sessions. Really, any action camera is fine. I, I don't sell GoPros, but what I can tell you as an end user is that GoPro sessions are awesome because they're a perfect square, so they're easy to mount in different ways, whether it's sticking them to a person, sticking them to a truck, sticking them to a bay door to get video of a, a, of a truck rolling out underneath it. Um, they do really well in the burn building. I found that they'll hold up to 450 degrees before they switch off, and then once you get them back out where it's cool, they work again, the memory card's fine. So they're really resilient. They're the cheapest one out there, so if you do happen to destroy it somehow, it's not like a huge budget hit. Um, so that works really well. A lot of people don't like to use their cell phones to do the video also because they have to be using their cell phones for other tasks. Um, so the so DJI came out with the Osmo on the right. Um, that's a new camera that's pretty slick. It actually shows you the video that you're taking, and it works like a camera gimbal. So it's nice and nice and smooth video as you're running or doing action. So if you're looking for a way to just make it a little bit more professional quality, those are some, some suggestions that you can use. Um, but honestly, you saw you, you saw the vlog. You can watch other examples of the vlogs that we have. Um, the video that my iPhone takes, I can record in 4K, I can record 60 frames a second, that is phenomenal. Um, there's really no reason why that can't just work. And certainly if you have a budget to buy nicer cameras, I would encourage you to do that. And we, we have nicer cameras as well. But the vlog style and the ease of being able to just lift a cell phone out to do whatever we need to do is really, really convenient. Especially when a lot of us have other tasks that we have to do on the fire ground or at work or whatever we're doing.